Hello and welcome to Age Partnerships Spring Webinar straight from head office. Today I'm joined by Simon Chalk, Age Partnerships award-winning equity release technical manager who some of you may know from the previous webinar. Today's topics include the current housing price market, what this means for the equity release market, types of people releasing money locked up in their homes and more of an insight into the most popular type of plan. So Simon, the BBC has very recently reported that the annual rate of growth for house prices in the UK is the fastest it's been for four years. So what does this mean for your customers? That's right, Bryony. Well, it has to be nothing but good news. We've had customers for many years who've looked at equity release when house prices were more subdued than they are now. So we'd encourage them to return and consider if it might be something that's right for them now. Because if the house has gone up in value, you can take more money out. And there are several things that affect how much a client can take from a property. And the most important one is the house value itself. But we have providers who will consider lower value properties from £70,000 upwards. So people needn't think that they're excluded if they aren't experiencing the buoyant house price growth that the BBC have forecasted. That's great. I mean, it really sounds like there hasn't been a better time to release equity. Absolutely, I'd agree with that in terms of house prices themselves. We don't want our customers to get too carried away because there are certain regions that have obviously performed much better than others, most notably London, which is a world of its own in many ways. But even that said, it's encouraging to see that on the last 12 months to January this year, that the Land Registry reported sales data showing house prices are up 4.4% for that 12 month period on average across the country. So that's quite a reasonable rate of growth, I think people would decide. Definitely. I mean, the equity release market is reported on as being very strong at the moment, with the amount of people releasing equity in their home going up by a massive 17% in the last three years alone. That's right. And I think people are encouraged by house prices. That's just one element. But there are many other factors, such as the uh, way plans have evolved. We have plans now that are far more adaptable than ever before. So if we have a customer, for example, who wants to make overpayments to the, the plan, they can do that. Customers who wish to pay some of the interest on the plan, they can do that. So what is the type of customer who's choosing to release equity from their home? And what do many people do with the money? Do you know that I wouldn't say that there was a particular type of customer because it suits so many people. Um, fundamentally, people will have two or three different reasons for releasing equity. The most common one we've seen in the last 12 months with about 43% of customers, according to the Equity Release Council's latest market report, which I have here, after the press, 43% um, of customers are using it to supplement their retirement income. Right. So that tells me that um, a lot of those people are finding just making, uh, making ends meet just a little bit tighter. So even though the economy is a little bit healthier than it has been in the past recent years, they still find it a little bit tight, yes. and so they need a little bit of extra cash just to make themselves more comfortable in their own homes. Other main reasons, Bryony, uh, home improvements is ever popular, that's number two on the list. And then you've got a sort of reducing, in terms of popularity, other reasons such as taking holidays, renewing an ageing car, gift to family and friends, that sort of thing. But there isn't, generally speaking, one reason, there's often several, I would say. So what type of equity release plan is the most popular then? The drawdown plan. It, absolutely revolutionised the equity lease sector when that was introduced and st sales have steadily grown to the point where last year it accounted for two out of every three plans taken according to the Equity Release Council this year. Um, they're popular obviously um, and the reason I would say for that principally is that we encourage customers to take what they need when they need it. Right. So their options really are quite simple Brian, to take the sum that's available to them is a one-off lump sum and it's, it's done with, if you like. There's the money to put in the bank and spend right. as you wish. Or to take it in little bite-sized chunks. And we find that more people now prefer to do the latter. It, it makes a lot more sense to them to have only what they need and spend that. And then when they've depleted that little pot, if you like, they can go back to the provider and there's a facility sitting there for them to take more. And that facility is automatic for them. So why is it that people choose to do that then? To take a drawdown style yes. of plan. Um, several reasons. I think that, that very often when people are looking at an equity release plan, they're trying to balance out in their minds a number of different things. 
They need the money, they've identified that, they usually know what it's for and when it's needed, mm. but they're never quite sure what's around the corner in life and they might want to have a facility to go back and borrow more money. So I think they find it useful and very reassuring to know that some extra money could be made available to them. So that's one thing, it just helps them with their planning. Secondly, it means that um, because the providers only charge you for what you've actually taken, what you've actually borrowed, you aren't charged for the rest until you take any more money out, then it means that the loan won't actually grow by quite as significant an amount so that you keep more of the equity in the property. And this is what I mean by balancing out brownie because a lot of customers want the money, they want to do something with it, and quite rightly so, but at the same time they often want to ensure that they can leave some form of an inheritance from the property when they've gone. So they're only paying interest on the amount they actually take out then? That's right. right. Each time you take a withdrawal, the lender will advise you what the fixed rate of interest is on the money at that time and provide you with another quote to show you how the loan will carry on growing. So you can make a decision and decide how much to take, when to take it and on what terms and conditions from that particular provider. The other main benefit of doing it, and this is one that I think is quite important to stress, is that a lot of customers that come to us are receiving certain means tested benefits from, okay, from the yes. state or local authority. And the two that they'll be most familiar with are pension credit right. from the pension service and council tax support mm -hmm. from their own local authority. And it doesn't make sense to obviously take equity out of your house if suddenly you're going to lose those benefits because it can, that can happen if you don't get the sums right. So we encourage customers to take just the right amount of money, which means that they won't lose those benefits. They'll keep their entitlement. That's really going to give, I think, a lot of people peace of mind around that as well because they might have been debating whether to do it or not and sort of weighing up their options. But it's kind of a win-win for them in that way then, isn't it, really? Absolutely. So Simon, the message for today really is that on average house prices have increased, so what would you say to people who had perhaps thought about equity release in the past but perhaps you hadn't been able to help them? Revisit it, quite simply. I mean there are several reasons why you might be pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. First of all, if your home's gone up in value, then naturally you might be able to take equity release where it wasn't a possibility two, three, four, five years ago. Secondly, um, every year you'll have passed a birthday and just as a very crude measure of thumb, that gives you an extra 1% available from some providers. So there might be a little bit more money there, which could make a big difference to you. And last of all, innovation in terms of products. We've seen some fantastic products come out in the marketplace in the last two, three years in particular. We now have plans that consider somebody's health and lifestyle. So for example, somebody who just has a smoking habit or even just takes prescribed medication for something relatively minor might qualify for some extra money from their property. Thanks so much for that, Simon. That's been fantastic. Some really interesting things covered today. Sadly, we have run out of time, but if you have any further questions on any of the topics covered today or any questions on equity release, please don't hesitate to call Age Partnership's team of fully qualified advisors on free phone 0808 141 6464. Thanks very much for joining us and we'll see you again next time.